This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. And joining me as always, look at him right over there, is Jared Morgan. Hello, everybody. Look at that. I tried something different. I went straight for the split screen. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I don't know Trying how that things. worked. It was more of an accident. I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, man. It's good. How's everybody doing? Oh, look, I'm doing well. I've been yeah. busy this week. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I've been doing the streaming. The streaming, oh, yeah. Let's let's dive right into that. Uh, so, yeah. Jared uh, uh, was like, you know, Zen's wondering if we could do a little bit of streaming, and I haven't done the streaming. So, should I do the streaming? Should I should I do our dust off the blockade pinball Twitch stream? I was like, yes, please, because I hadn't touched it in like four years, five years. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> it was it was a ridiculous chunk of time. I was like, when I looked at it, I was like, Jared, I don't even know any of the passwords for this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we had those written down, right? We there was some forethought. Jared, being the technical writer, actually, you know, goes, "Hey, why Documents don't we document things. these things?" <laughs> <laughs> Look, write the docs, <laughs> right? Do it. As opposed to me, where I'm just like, "Yeah, let's just leave them mumble up in the head. We'll we'll if we yeah. type it out enough times, we'll get it right." <laughs> yeah. So, exactly. Jared, what do you uh, what are you thinking about this uh, this streaming business? I, I'm really enjoying it, eh? Yeah, I I'm really love getting into the uh, the, the whole uh, streaming thing. It was a bit of a I don't know, a bit of a wall to get set up, but once I sort of got my head around the the OBS in particular, yeah. <laughs> I, I <laughs> Welcome have a much to my world. Appreciation of what you're doing, <laughs> <laughs> because OBS ain't easy, folks. Uh, and I've already got like one scene, pretty much like what you see here. Yeah. Uh, just the lower third and my um, uh, webcam feed in the middle and then like what we're playing on the right. And that's it. I'm not doing any switching or any of that sort of stuff. And I'm still having to check every single time I record to make sure nothing is... And OBS has decided, you're going to be a robot today. <laughs> or you're going to have um, some other weird audio thing happening. So it's I don't weird. always get it. Right. Yeah, I, I was uh, trying to convince Jared to just have his webcam pointed the uh, other direction so it looks like he's actually looking at his uh, screen that he's playing and he's like, mate, my my my, U, uh, my USB cord, not long enough. Going to have to yeah. take care of that. <laughs> and so I did. I went out and got a tripod yesterday. Oh, did you? I, I, got, I got serious. It was only like a $50 did, cheapy. Did, did, did you yeah. grab the green screen? I, no, I did not grab the green screen. Because <laughs> <laughs> I play on the couch, right? I'm right. just literally sitting on the couch. Right, so you, you get one of those those round green screens that you just plunk it right behind you as you lean against oh, like it. like lie up against it. Right, and, the, and then the, it, you know let the uh, whatever program it is to take care of the rest. And then you can be like all just the other... Just chroma key around me. Yes, and then you can be the the floating head player. Yeah, that's right. I could. Right. It's The, the thing is that... I've been trying out two different technologies. So the Twitch broadcaster software and also OBS. So for the Steam developer page thing that I'm doing for Zen, you have to use OBS for that uh -huh. um, because it needs this particular feed key and it doesn't work with really anything else. Sure. Um, but when I'm doing just direct uh, Twitch feeds, I'm using the Twitch broadcaster software. And it is a breath of fresh air, <laughs> like compared to OBS. If I could use that to do the tween, the the, 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 the same thing, I'd be doing it because it's way easier to use. So I, I, I'm saying uh, to all of you out there, let's encourage Jared and uh, have him uh, have some good interactions out there. Give him some suggestions of uh, uh, yeah. tips for what you would like to see. Uh, you know what you're normally you're used to in a Twitch stream, uh, so that Jared could maybe make that happen, and uh, who knows, maybe he'll eventually pop into a regular schedule for something to actually tune into that you know yeah, that's I right. was impossibly failing at keeping. <laughs> I'm trying to work out. It's easy enough to do it when I don't have the kids, right? Yeah, because I can just I can do it whenever in the evening. But you know, with the kids um, who are coming here this week. Um, sort of means that I'm they're not really in bed until about nine thirty or ten. So then I have to get set up, do a ten to eleven stream. Mm -hmm. I mean I'm normally playing pinball after they go to bed. 
So it wouldn't be a big stretch. It's just the the, the speaking and talking while they're in bed is the thing that's going to be interesting. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> See, it's the speaking and talking while playing that uh, was the ruin of me. Uh, <laughs> mm. I don't have a problem with that at all. I just, yeah. you just know... watch my latest, latest streams. I talk all the time. If if you all watch uh, watched any of the back when we were doing the uh, mobile app uh, let's play, uh, oh yeah, Zen, um, I was pre-recording my games, and then once I had a game that I was like, "Ooh, that's worthy of talking about," then I would play that in real time and comment on it. <laughs> so you essentially do your own premiere. Yes, of your own and I was able to game. talk right over and like. It sounded great. I was like, yeah. this is awesome, but it was kind of false, too, because it was pre-recorded. Yeah, it wasn't a direct reaction to what was happening. Yes, I kind of knew what was going to be happening. <laughs> yeah. And I'm really bad at faking the, uh, oh, look at that, because I'm not good yeah. at it in the moment, and you better believe I'm not good at it in the uh, let's fake it territory of reacting. So, <laughs> I've got to admit, I've got a pretty foul mouth when i'm playing pinball sometimes <laughs> so i've had to really uh dial that back a bit uh, and i had i managed to not do any naughty words in the, any of the streams so far. <laughs> it's almost like when i have the headphones on i don't do anything bad oh there you go yeah. but but if you see jared with the headphones off look out yeah watch out it's, it, it's, it's sailor potty mouth coming then, then it's jared after dark um <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> tell you what twilight zone has been Getting me close sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's uh, we're hoping to, uh, like I said, um, promote that, get that going. So uh, you know, usually you guys are uh, uh, dealing with watching me play uh, and Jared commentating. So instead, now you can see Jared play and comment on himself. Um, yeah. So, uh, and are you up. posting? You gonna post those to our YouTube page? Or, or you what's have. going on? You have. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. See, it shows you yeah. how long I've since it's been in this past week that I've looked at our YouTube page. <laughs> you must have been busy as well this week, right? You know, there's some busyness going on. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, some new trainings that were having me get off at one forty-five in the morning. So, yeah, that's that's too late. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, I, I'm very much a morning person. Um, mm. I can function perfectly fine in the morning, and I prefer the environment of the park in the morning it's more calm and sedate as opposed mm -hmm. to the frantic panic of people realizing that their time in the park is about over and they need to do about two hours worth of activity in 30 minutes <laughs> <laughs> including getting photos taken yes so um, i'd imagine the mood changes very much when you're a uh, photo pass um, well and you're also dealing uh, with uh so they're angsty they've had nothing but junk food all day long and they've <laughs> yep. been awake since the crack of dawn. Uh, so they're tired. To maximize their time in the park. <laughs> yes. When's it open? Uh, 8 a.m. Okay, yeah. Although if you're in a hotel, you can get in at 7.30. All right. Yeah, and then it closes. It's a little bit like SeaWorld yeah. um, so, down here. If you stay in the adjacent resort, you can enter in before everyone else. Yeah, but it's, you know, basically the park is open for 16 hours. And there are some people that are wow. there that entire time. So 16 hours. So from... Eight until twelve. Eight in the midnight. Yep. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess you got the whole fireworks thing at the end of the day, right? Uh, those are at nine thirty at night. So nine thirty. Um, but yeah, people will get that last hurrah firework. Yay! Okay, now people are gone. Let's stay here some more. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Does it empty out quite a bit after the fireworks happen? Uh, yeah, fair amount. Um, okay. I mean, literally. <laughs> one time I made the mistake. Uh. For those of you not familiar with the Disneyland parks, there's a Main Street. And yes. This is where everybody piles in uh, all the way from Main Street all the way to the castle to watch these fireworks. You're talking about probably, I'm going to say, 20,000 people mm. crammed. So a small stadium's worth of yes, people. Yes, crammed, crammed in that area. And a lot of those people, as soon as those fireworks go off, then they leave. And it's like mm. this river of people in mass moving. And yeah. it is a solid wall that you cannot penetrate. <laughs> you just have to stand back and let the river pass you by. That, and it's exactly like a river. Because one time I yeah. really needed to get from where they were all exiting to the start. 
and I was trying to push through it. And eventually I just stood to the side and was like, nope, got to let it pass because <laughs> I'm yep. not getting anywhere. Can't get through this. <laughs> nope. I, I've experienced the river, not as a uh, employee, but as a uh, punter. Yeah. And it is something else. Yeah. No, this was only at the um, the Paris Disney as well. Oh, so yeah. It's a smaller yeah. park. Yeah. So, yeah, but it was still like, okay, this is the thing. <laughs> So, yeah, anyway, there's been uh, some busyness busyness going on there. But um, mm. does not prevent me, though, from uh, checking out the uh, things that we're going to talk about today. Uh, mm. Obviously, mm. we'll just get right into it. But the mm. big issue here is that, hooray, Pinball FX is available on Steam now. Um, and there's been some discussion of among people that were like, well, is there really much of a difference between Steam and... Epic Game Store, barring the politics, for those of you that uh, want to get into that mess. Mm. No, let's talk about just oh, performance yeah. and uh, what it does. And uh, those in the cabinet community, it's a resounding yes. <laughs> oh, it's a, a heck huge, yes. Heck yes. There's for a the huge cabinet difference. Um, mainly uh, two forms, and that is, I guess, when going full frame or full screen vertical mm. in Epic you have to go into Windows and rotate the screen, is I believe mm -hmm. what they were saying. Whereas Steam, you don't have to do that. It does it automatically for you. And that's, oh, a, yes. that's a huge thing right there to not that's have amazing. to be doing that. And then they were saying with the Epic Store, they had to do that every single time they booted up the game. Oh. It didn't remember. That would make me not want to play it. On your cabinet. At all. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing is that with... Uh, Key configuration mm. that I guess it's uh, more limited in Epic, whereas Steam, you're able to do a lot more customization of your uh, key controls. Probably oh, so you can you, remap now. I was going to say, but also probably because you could use like Joy to Key uh, or things like that. Oh, yeah, right. I don't know. This is where I'm like, I still don't understand. Zen, why can't you just let us customize the controls any which way we want? Why mm. do we have to go with your limited key binding? Why can't we just make our own key binding? Mm. Yeah. I, I don't understand. Um, doesn't really affect me because I like that the key binding is there at the moment. Yes, so, until you start trying to configure a cabinet. A cabinet where you're now and having to no assign fun. things like the plungers and uh, yeah, you know, what key does what and that doesn't map to... A, a controller that doesn't have a joypad on top of it to, to navigate with and all this stuff. I mean, building the uh, pin sim, fortunately, uh, Jeremy Williams had worked out most of those issues with his uh, interface board interface board that he'd, he'd done. But there was still mm. a, a little bit of an amount of figuring these things out and uh, binding it how it needed to function. Um, mm to the point that I had to do a special key combination in order to make my joystick work on top to do some things, mm. and then I'd key combo out to make it go function again. So these are things that I'm hoping when... Because Zen is still working on the cabinet mode, obviously. Yeah, um, yeah. And I, the thing I'm hoping they're working on most is actually doing the animated back glasses so people don't have to create and download their own back glasses. Um, yeah. But I'm hoping that because Zen actually has a cabinet team now and they're making this work in their own cabinet, <laughs> just like all of you out there that built your own, that they're running into these same issues and going then trying to problem solve around it. So, yeah, I'm, that's the hope I'm, hope, I'm hoping so. Yeah. Um, so anyway, those are that's kind of the the overarching major plugs but the the other difference just with steam is, and, and i've forgotten how much i enjoy this because i've been with epic playing this but as i'm playing it seeing all the people that are in my little box coming up saying oh they're now playing pinball effects oh they're now playing pinball effects it's like oh yeah all my friends that uh, i know online yeah. hey yeah those are the scores i'm trying to beat cool <laughs> so yep. yeah it's good yeah the integration in steam is so much better yeah. Um, it's also interesting to just, uh, to, for people wondering, 
know all of your achievements and things that you did in Epic Game Store do not transfer over to Steam. So you get to play no. all those tables and earn all those achievements all over again. <laughs> I just wonder how you might be able to export them from Epic Games. Because the app is the same. It's still a, a Windows executable. It just depends on how they store uh, the actual achievement data what I, in the game. I wish and then I don't wish. I Do you kind of think it's nice just to start from scratch again? Well, I do think it's nice to start from scratch again. And as somebody also pointed out, with Steam, you can play offline. With Epic, you couldn't. Uh, right. um, and what I was going to say is I kind of wish that it was that you lo you know as the game loads in, it logs into your Zen account and then would read yeah. what your things are. Yes. Um, now, just all the metadata. Yes. Um, yeah. But that would mean being online the entire time. Or they could do it so the next available, they resync what things you got and then sync that up to the cloud so that next time you're online, it just pulls it down and updates it. And I would even go so far as to say I wouldn't mind it being where it's just playing an option where it's, hey, do you want to sync your. Your achievements across achievements platforms. Across platforms. And then if you want to turn mm. that back off again, you can turn it back off again. Um, mm. You know, because it is some people get that, th you know, yeah, I play on the PC, but, uh, you know, my son plays on PlayStation. So and I don't want, you know, that's his, even though it's my account, that's his way of playing versus my way of playing. And I don't, and we want to compete that way. Right, you know, so right, right. I, I, uh, as with all things, options are the best. Let the user determine how they want to use it, rather than being dictated how it's supposed to be used. Yeah, but um, I just like the ability, and this is probably a lot of dev work for a one-time thing, but just the ability to export achievements yeah. and then import achievements. Just give me a way of like give me an XML file that outputs that Epic knows the structure of. I mean, not Epic. Steam mm -hmm. knows the structure of, and then off you go. Yeah, It just loads it in. What I sure as hell don't want is what was happening with Farsight, where if I dared to open up Pinball Arcade on a laptop, it wiped everything from my PC. <laughs> oh, it, right. It's, it was a hard reset. It, well, because it was some kind of... Uh, a cloud save without being a cloud... Like, it was locally stored but the way it read it first read uh the farsight account and it went oh you're on a new computer and then it would not read any cloud business and so and it so it register like oh now you're playing on a laptop great but then when you go back to your pc again it read that first and went oh you're on something new wipe <laughs> it was the Horrible. that was very frustrating when i had finally finally gotten every single one of their achievements <laughs> and yeah. decided well let me try out on the laptop and then i went back and they were all gone you went uh, i suddenly didn't care <laughs> is what happened i suddenly you, went, you went, know what i'm done with this yep i'm done i don't need to collect so yeah i've done it <laughs> i just don't have a record of it yes except um, in my brain place all right, so uh, what do you say? Should we uh, fire this thing up and actually uh, do a little yeah, bit of a walkthrough? All right, mm. hold on one second. I'm going to leave you up on the screen while I do this. Talk, Jared. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I have run out of Pimple Pass <laughs> on, on, the, uh, on, on the streaming box downstairs. So it's just the tables that were released uh, at over EGS Early Access. Me too. Yeah. Um, Yep, unfortunately. So that's okay because there's still a fair few there. Yeah. And all the new ones, we've got entitlements too. Yes, So that's good. All right, let me get this all fired up. Come on, work. Oh, I have to push that. There we go. La -da -da -da. There we are. Ta-da. All right, now we're functioning. Mm. Now we're cooking with fire. 
Yeah, Sam was kind enough to... Because um, we're all waiting for our founder's form uh, email. Yeah. Which uh, apparently Zen is having to do by hand. <laughs> it's, it is a manual process. Yes. Every person's form is being addressed by an actual human. Uh, and then room. they're getting emailed with their keys. Yeah. Um, so just just be nice to them. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's really so Zen hooked us up with... I'm just going to go all my own tables. Zen hooked us up with uh, basically everything that had been dropped new to mm. uh, Pinball Effect. Over the Epic Games period. Yeah, for the... the Pretty much. Yeah, for the early access. Yeah. Um, and then, which is fine, we can wait for the other things because they just wanted us to have a, you know, some things to uh, to play with here. Um, yeah. Other, I mean, it, it looks everything's the exact same interface. This isn't nothing's new here. Um, no. Per se. Um, ew, what's this? That's the little pop up you get uh, for events. There we go. Where's this? Is it still there? Oh yeah, there it is. I need to enter this. The, the yeah, you, Bride of Pinball. Yeah, trophy. Because I want the trophy. The trophy looks pretty yeah. cool. They posted it up on, uh, was it on Twitter? And also on the Steam um, page as well. They oh, maybe that's where it's about it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's really it's, good. The whole interface, it looks the same. Um, nothing, nothing new there per se. Uh, let's talk about the new new. So five new tables dropped. We've got... Crypt of the Necro Dancer, which yep. have you have you messed with that, Jared? I've messed with it twice. It's um, um, it's an interesting little beast. It really is. I'm still not quite sure how I feel about it. I, well, I have some thoughts. Um, I'm trying to I, let it grow on me. I, it's such a it's a weird one, right? Yeah, we'll we'll mess with it a little bit. Uh, yeah. We've got it's a long player. Yeah, we've got the uh, three yeah. uh, Godzilla Kong tables. Which we have thoughts on those. And then, of course, there is Twilight Zone. And fishies. And yeah, we now back have uh, Fishtails back in the uh, the mix of things, which mm -hmm. most of you have, should have been playing. The uh, Fishtails is free. Yep. So Fishtails as is, is free, as is going up here. Do, 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 do. Whoops, I went too far. There we go. Sorcerer's Lair and Wild West Rampage. So three free yeah. tables. Yeah. And of course... Uh, if you go on to Steam, you'll see that the game has now a mixed reaction because of all the people complaining that things aren't free. Mm. <laughs> yes, it's it's disappointing. Ignore those people. Yeah, just um, anything that's pretty much down down thumbed. Yeah, just filter them out because they're, all they're complaining about is the fact they have to rebuy really the tables. Yeah, they're not actually reviewing the game itself, <laughs> which no. is such annoyance. Um, why don't we take a look at these uh, Godzilla tables first? Yeah, good idea. Godzilla Pinball. So let's get this fired up. Godzilla will take humanity. Uh, hold on. I'm on a new game. You must have had a game in progress. Yep. Oh, that's right. We had one going. Yeah, we were testing it. King of the Monsters. When we were testing it. Apex Predator. So the first time I loaded this up, Godzilla. that the Godzilla logo there humanity. in the middle and my flippers were pulsing. Oh. Like lights like going strobing. on and off. Strobing. And I went, what kind of epileptic nonsense is this? To which your <laughs> yes. reaction was, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> um... Fortunately, once I completely reloaded the game, I didn't see it again. But I really mm. thought, is this a feature? Because it looked like electronic pulsing. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I was like, if this is a I mean, feature, it it's a horrible feature and get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. It's please so please turn it off. At the same time. All right, enough of that. All right, so, Jared, you yeah, want to know the trick to the skill that. shot? Hey, what's the trick? Okay, don't use your plunger, the, the uh, analog the plunger, stick. right? Just push the button really quick. Oh, yeah? Bing! Instant skill shot. Oh, every time. Every time. <laughs> oh, that's the good trick to know. It's a bit like the uh, the trick I learned in A Brighter Pinbot, where I've got like a muscle memory set up for just Careful. mash the button. And I always get a 200k skill shot. It's every time, pretty much. Except when I don't. <laughs> because I'm like a couple of milliseconds off. So, okay. First things first. I like the look of this table. It looks like mm -hmm. a proper pinball machine. 
Uh, when I say that, what I mean is the inserts actually look informative. Um, the lights are informative. Yeah. Um, and the color scheme is pretty nice. I dig the color. It's very with Godzilla. Another positive, the sound design on this is really nice. The, it's pretty, the it's very good. Godzilla powering up is still very satisfying. Sounds amazing. It's carried through all the Godzilla tables, yep. actually. Now, would you say, Jared, I really feel this, these are a direct comment on the movies? I think they are. Like, plot points, not necessarily Kong, characters, but I think Godzilla vs. Kong is 100% one. Yeah. What would this one be from, though? Come this on, this would be the Godzilla. second Godzilla movie. Uh, okay, I haven't watched that one. Um, I should probably watch these. The Okay, so Godzilla, pretty good. Yeah. Godzilla, uh, King of the Monsters, not bad. I mean, it's also pretty decent. Um, hmm. King Kong, good. Skull Island, good. Godzilla vs. Kong, take more than that hot trash. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um... A be Hot trash. And the thing is, is so when we get to that table, some of the uh, voice callouts are exactly the exact same that's in the movie that are hot trash. Uh, not the callouts, but the, oh. um, the podcaster people. Uh, I was going to ask about that. Yeah. And what that's all about. Because it seems really bizarre. It's really terrible. That'll do some good. Um, yeah. What was an impressive attack. thing I don't like, and you can... Hear it going on right now? Devastating strike. It's the same kind of voice callouts that are in Alien vs. Predator, and that right, it's way too up. cheery. What is he doing with that ship? There's no Godzilla like prevails. it's not good acting. Well it's not pulls it's not completely it's not good acting. out of it's just the, the table. wrong It's a wrong voice. Yeah, it's that Golly gee, table. Willikers! Oh no, is Godzilla in trouble? It's like Batman oh, 66 heck. acting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the script, it's its not the, the performer's fault, it's the script. Oh, no, I think it's the performer's fault. Oh, you reckon? Oh, absolutely. That, the, the, it's the wrong performer. He's right. It, I need... I'm trying to remember the voice in Godzilla. Like, who's the main sort of um, actor in Godzilla? Uh, Brian Cranston most... and... Is it Brian Cranston? And Aaron Taylor Johnson in the first one. Uh, oh, Billy Bobby Brown <laughs> is in the second one. And the third one. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, I'm just saying, it's... It's like after-school special acting. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Um, yeah, I know. Now, no me hammering around on this, the only thing... My, can do. my only complaint is I feel like I do a lot of things and nothing seems to change. Yeah, you, you are... A very good lumberjack. You're chopping wood a lot. Yeah. Uh, and that would be my complaint with this table, that I just... I can make things happen, but I don't really understand... The points. The points, because, like, if we look over here, we have battle one, two, three, and the final battle, right? And these are against different kaiju. Yeah. Which, I understand yeah. that concept. What I don't understand is how to light them up. <laughs> e yeah. How to get it started. That's and you know, it just I'm, I'm waiting for the comments when we do the premiere. It's like read the instructions, Chris. No, I shouldn't have to. Um, lab one, two, three. I don't even know how to get that going. Um, and then you got a spellorama over here with Gajira. Yeah. Which I mean, I understand the spellorama aspect, but it doesn't seem to have anything to do with any of these things. So, mm. oh, and by the way, this hole right there. Virtually impossible to aim for. It's a very, very late shot. Very. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. Uh, that one's like really redonkulous. That's I wonder if the mode start without looking at the instructions. Like I wonder if that big three white arrow shot just underneath the. Okay, right those are how you charge up Godzilla. Okay. So each time you hit one of those, it's charging oh, him up a little bit finally. more. Well, given that Godzilla probably has to charge up to fight other kaiju, then that's probably how you start a mode. I don't know. Let's see. Well, but see, okay. We're lighting up, though, King, right? 
Oops. No False save activated. Yeah. Good. Eleven more hits to open the door. Ridiculous. That is if I go into that right thing. Uh, uh, no, into the uh, left It'll orbit. Take more than that to make the king oh, the left orbit. Yeah, so He's watch what back. happens if I go left orbit. He knows it's better to survive and fight another day. Ah. Really? That'll Get control. Looks like he's leaving via the there we go. So two more shots Send to open the full to orbit. Full orbit. Excuse me. So that's doing something. Here's the other thing. We're yeah, back so. to the. Uh, I'd really like to read the DMD, but I can't. <laughs> no, exactly. So I don't know what. And an, the voice callouts aren't helping. No, I don't know what an entry hit is because I don't know what the entry is. No. What is what is? Ooh, those pop numbers are going nuts. You yeah, better have a look at your points. Yeah, well, the points didn't. None. Yeah, the points didn't. Like um, on the move. They don't change. Yeah, because there are no points Looks like for, for about pop bumpers. I don't so understand. One more play. shot for... It was like that mummy, too. Entry. That they don't give you points for pop bumpers. Come on, it's a main scoring feature of the right. game. Why aren't they wide in for scoring? It just does my head in. Okay, hold on, let's try and get up there. Okay, orbit's Hurry open. Up. Okay, That'll so you qualified one. the orbit. Okay, so now what? Uh, do you shoot it? Okay, now we're battling. Okay, so that's battling it. of the gods. So I need to get up there a whole bunch of times. Oh. And now you drink. And now you drink. I doubt Typical. that's the last time. This is the way. <laughs> um. Uh. Oh, it didn't give it to me that time. Data received. Oh well, I tapped it. Well, you anyway. you actually got a double skill shot. Extra ball is charged. There can be only one. So like Extra these light up there. helicopters. All that is is for combo. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It's just extra telling you that lit. the combo is lit. Where's the extra ball? I can... Extra can ball. Can you see it? Extra ball. Yes, extra ball mm -hmm. is right here with a plus one. You got it. Now you just gotta get it. Oops. Sensor Too much. readings are off the charts. See, see these, there these sensors are off the charts. As opposed to, these sensors are off the charts. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? There's just a tonal difference that needs to happen. You have no idea how much um, these There's one thing where it's like, do. follow Godzilla, See, the, but there's no really way the to follow The sort of pseudo-British actor, um, voice actor, I think Careful. that's fine. Yes. You don't want to make him angry. We're only here to observe. I don't know. It's, it's so weird. Just they make it sound like Godzilla's your friend. And maybe it's I, yeah. and maybe I need the Japanese accent Back to really sell up. that. Hmm. <laughs> he will recover. Oh well, game's over. Anyway, take a uh, we're not gonna spend a lot. I mean, we've got five of these to go through, so yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna spend a lot. We're not gonna time. be going for a record score here. Yeah, the, uh, that's definitely not gonna be a record score right there. Woo, 60th place is where I've been. That's not bad. Yeah, not great. I don't know where I'm sitting on that. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's Godzilla. Let's go over to Kong. <laughs> Kong has a little bit more of a traditional um, flair to it. An ecosystem yeah. vast as uh, any ocean. That it's got right mode right hole, basically. Hollow. It does. Um, mode hole said, and finish creation. These ramps Almost up here in the rock and science are hard oh. to see in view too. The cradle of titans. Uh, yeah, they are. Buckle up for the ride. Let's go. Uh, this skill shot is. A treat and a half. Nope. Devilishly hard. Yeah. Not as hard as the Godzilla and Kong table. No. that skill shot is something else. So here's where we go with the, I got a lot of things lit. I shoot the shot. But what am I shooting? It's still lit. <laughs> exactly. Which bugs me. Because yep. then I feel like, well, what did I do that for? Oh, but if you look at the DMD, it tells you what you just did. Yeah, you but can't look at the DMD. I though. can't look at the DMD because I got a ball that I don't know where it's coming out of. Yep. And this one does have some odd ball parts. Yes. Like it throws. I mean, look at that. Yeah. That's a little quick U-turn right to the flipper. Kick back I mean, I like lit. it. But it's just, it just really catches you by surprise. Yeah. Um, but like I said, it does have traditional mode hole, which if I can actually shoot it. No. Get out of there. Uh -huh. oh, well. No, not yet. There's still work to do. Uh, the voice call us on this annoying me a bit as well. I did find myself taking the mickey out of him during this stream. Where'd he go? Oh. 
Launch sequence success. Hey, you got it. Well, that's okay. Two so I gotta hit that twice in order to get the mode hole lit. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, ah, ball save. You got that drain save. I will say that these tables are pretty drainy. Yeah, they're not easy, eh? No. I mean, I like the challenge. One more hit. Here we go. Follow nice. Kong, then press launch to select. Oh, that's if I want to do. I don't like follow ones. So let's go warbat We're attack. Sure, why not? Strange radar activity. We're gonna circle back. What A warbat. The hell is that thing? Damn it, okay, so I'll help Mayday. you. Mayday. I don't even know. What's, what's the what's the DMD saying? By hitting all the lit lanes. Oh, okay. Um, and you got eight hits left. And is it a you know what I'd love? Is I'd love to see that DMD on some games actually put into the playfield. Do a multimorphic. So the DMD is right there in the middle. I know it takes a big slice of art space up. Uh, okay, do me a favor, Jared. Make it so much easier. Check out the time, see if it resets when I hit one of these. I can't tell what time is because oh. it's literally two point font in the oh. UI. Alright, fine. Like that's that's something uh, I complain about. No, it does not reset. Okay, so it it's is just not a, glanceable at all. It's just a big hurry up. Yeah, it, that's all it is really. It's a very generous hurry up. It's a not really a hurry up. It's like a maybe don't take too long up. <laughs> but I really wish that they would increase the font size on that timer. Yeah, it's pretty tiny. Like, make, move the number down underneath the time and at least make it about the same font size as Ball 2. And that will make it infinitely more easy to see. Mm -hmm. You know? And such a small fix. The poison is spreading. We must hurry. Kick back, activate. Oh, nearly. Oh, we got two left. Ah! Oh! To be another Damn. way. Okay, so... Mode starts as simple, just three shots up the left. Yes. Okay. And then you can select a mode. Yeah. So I, I like it how Kong stops the ball. Buckle up for the ride. Let's like go. Me. Whoa, what happened there? This makes no sense. But we'll take it. Like, what is that like? This Kong makes no sense, but we'll take it. Take what? And what's this not is the mode sense? that annoys the heck out of me. Listen well, to the call out. That's gone. <laughs> hey, Gets better. That was expensive. <laughs> One more. Well, that's gone. Oh, so they only, only say two things. <laughs> and they're like, it's such a like, well, he drank my milk. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like, well. <laughs> it's so. Like, it's it's like so defeatist, <laughs> right? Finally, it's funny. It's really odd choice of call out. Oh, uh, you know, maybe I'm missing something from the movie. No, is you're not. This is not like, based on these aren't pull quotes from the movie. This is not our fight anymore. But the plot line of the movie seems to be in here, and there's design okay. elements from the movies that are in here, like. That's why I'm not. I'm, it's interesting because this is. Uh, oh wait, I didn't want to play Kong again. Um, no. This is Toho that they partnered with, yeah. not Warner Brothers or Legendary, uh, who made the movie. Right. So. Even though it's Legendary Pinball. Oh, it is. It's Toho Legendary Pinball. Yeah. So it is movie. Maybe it is Legendary pinball. Studios. Hmm. Because it has Legendary on the DMD. Like the logo. Hey, I just realized something. What? Well, when the last time when we were discussing Mel, what he was talking about, and he said there's some legendary pinball coming up, or yeah. there's a legendary release coming up, and we were like, "Ooh, the what is that?" And we were way off mark, and then somebody in the comment section uh, during the live during the uh, stream of the premiere said it could be legendary the studios <laughs> for the MonsterVerse stuff, and I'm gonna say. Good on ya! <laughs> you yep. called it. You're absolutely on point there. Because um, I didn't even think to look right up here at the uh, what the boxes that these are being kept in. Um, and you think about it, because like all the other ones are sort of branded, right? So yeah. There's legendary, there's Paramount. They're all studio based. Yeah. So that also gives you a clue 
when we're trying to infer what things might be coming out in the future. Oh, look, there's the legendary logo right there. Yep. Up in the DMD. Didn't even... Okay. Yep, exactly. So, that's kind of interesting because they've made quite a few movies. Um, now I'm going to have to go back and figure out what movies they made because they've made some, like, really big budget stuff. Yep. Um, yeah. They weren't Pacific Rim, were they? I think they were. I, I, I thought they were. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Because, yeah, bring on that. Alright. Uh, oh, this one's like, yeah, that skill shot's. That skill shot, good insane. luck with that. Skill shot attempt missed. Yeah, I know I missed. Yeah. Um, Again with the voice acting. Mm hmm. Yeah, all three tables are pretty terrible in the voice acting. Yeah, which is a shame. This is like a super wide body too. It is a very much a wide body. And it feels it. Yeah. Which makes sense, you know. Wide I mean, body. It's a big big cudgy better. Yeah, big beasties. Yeah. That being said, I really feel like the times I've played this, I've just been getting nothing started. Yeah. So the only thing I've managed to do is get Apex ramped and mm -hmm. multi ball. So that's pretty obvious. I don't know what Monarch is. I assume that Monarch is the ship. Uh, Monarch is the uh, scientific company that uh, initially was doing the research. Um, and Apex is the... Um, like. Apex is the challenger the... to Monarch. Apex oh, is the okay. one that winds up building Mecha Godzilla. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there is a main maybe. mode sinkhole right here. Yep. Um, which is hit it three times, I believe. We'll find yeah, out shoot it three times. Oh. Off the left flipper is safe. Yep, one more. It bounces pretty consistently as well. Got it, main mode, apex attack. Titan alert. This is not a drill. All apex employees, please proceed to the nearest exit. Breaking news here, listeners. Godzilla oh, has been seen approaching the apex facility in Florida. It's ridiculous. It really is. But I'm not kidding. That's in the movie. That, that's and it's the worst part of the movie. And that's what they thought would be good. <laughs> As a narration thing. Level two personnel this way. Let's go, let's go! Because it's literally I mean, that's, one of those that's good. Uh, yeah. But military personnel. Yeah, oh, military personnel is fine. And even the military sort of loudspeaker announcer, Fighter that's also good. Deployed, it's just Captain. a podcast thing. There goes the jet. I'm trying to work out what the aircraft carrier does in this game. Uh, you shoot it underneath feels big it. enough. <laughs> what were you going to say, sorry? Uh, you shoot underneath it. On that monster. Yeah, but surely it does something else. Well, again, in the movie, there is a battle between Kong and Godzilla on top of the aircraft carrier. Okay. Well, that explains why it's in there. Yes. But it could be used for so much more than just the thing that hides a lane. <laughs> okay, let's oh, do multiple. Yeah, you did. I mean, that's a good point about the stable. It's easy to start multiple, which is what we're always going on about. So that voice that's it? doing the attention demonstration happening, occurring stuff, that's yeah. actually fine because it's... Yeah telling it's actually telling you that things are starting like i appreciate yeah. that the call outs that that's doing yeah that's Watch good out. Incoming attack. that noise oh, the, the... Deployed, Captain. oh yeah the I monster love, noise I is love... fantastic especially yeah. if you got the volume turned up or you're playing with yeah. headphones and you've got a good subwoofer mm -hmm. it's like amazing when you got a good subwoofer Oh, you said a new record. You did a thing. I did a thing. How about that? Oh, now you got that dialed in. Well, do I? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got it a couple of times now, which is more than I can do. Um, I love so the color scheme. Me. There's all this uh, neon that's going on. There's a lot of neon. It's nice. I like it's EM, EM wire. Yeah. Or EL wire, whatever it's called. Electroluminous. Yeah. Luminance wire. 
Oh, I no forgot to on uh, Kong. So again, in the movie, there's a whole thing where they go to the center of the Earth and gravity is all wonky and affected. And so they uh, do the, uh, let's flip the table upside the down. Table thing. Here's what I don't like. And the, it's the exact same thing that happens in AVP. Um, so I have it in view too. Yeah. But as soon as it goes upside down, it goes into view one. And I yeah. want it to stay with whatever view I picked. Because it's jarring. Right. Retreat, squad! Retreat! Well, I guess it's supposed to be hard, isn't it? It's not. So well, it's they... still going to be difficult, but I don't know why they can't the keep the same facility. view that I'm aware of. And I want to know how that to to those playing in cabinet mode. How does that? How does that work? How does that affect? Because in cabinet mode, you're going to be having that straight over over the top look. Yeah, it's going to be weird. But again, you know, you can't really design a table for the the small percentage that will be using cabinets. No, but it's still an odd innovative. choice to uh, to override what a person's view is. Because upside down, the hardest part about yes. upside down is that your flipper arrangement is upside down. Oh yeah, well yes. <laughs> I just no. noticed that on the apron, yeah. left hand side, you've got a lock indicator. Oh, yeah, you so do. the lock indicator is replicated from the ramp, but it's it's a bit different in that the ramp shows you that's where lock is, um, that where you got to shoot the shot. Hmm. But on the apron, it shows you your progress to lock. I should, I should probably go back to trying to shoot the mode hole and see what another mode looks like. Yeah, let's have a look at the mode. I really got to focus on the no. modes in this game. No. Uh, ball three. Uh, ball three, of course. Of course. Yeah. I tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll go one more time. Yeah. And I'll concentrate on the mode hole rather than yeah. bouncing around all over the place. Flipping around. Whee! <laughs> oh, I'm a flipper idiot. <laughs> Unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got the skill shot, Jared. Hey, nice. See? Look, you have gold it. And then I drained up. Alright, mode hole. Oh, nice. Got that one. Just triple it. Do it. Got that one. Yep. And got that one. That so it's always Apex first. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Uh, there's a story order for this one. Yeah. Do you get to select the missions like, after you've done the first one? No. Well, I guess we'll find out. Well, that's true. I, I, I say <laughs> no, having never gotten there. Level 2 personnel this way. Let's go, let's go! Bonus multipliers increased. Fighter jets being deployed, Captain. Up the side. Wait, where'd my... Oh, I gotta hit the jackpot. You... Yeah, you gotta hit the... Defend from fighter jet attack. Nope. Oh. Ah! Oh! And now you'll have to do that again. I don't know, do I? Or does it leave the mode started? I'm not sure. I... Oh, actually, you're right. I think once you're in the mode, you continue until it's finished. And that's right. I remember that. And I really like that. No I do. That you don't lose your progress. Oh, no. I lost my progress. <laughs> oh. Watch out! Incoming attack! Well, that's weird because you had the, the end shot lit well, for okay. a short while. No, you're right. You know, okay, so here's the deal. I'm still in the mode because there, there might be two levels to the mode. Oh, right. I just missed the jackpot of the first one, maybe. Oh, oh mm. I definitely missed the jackpot of the third one. <laughs> or the second yeah. one. So let's see if it stays right. lit for the ball three. Okay. Um, I'm still getting the blinky lights, so it's still doing, the, still doing mode. It's still in mode. Fighter jets being deployed, Captain. 
man. When that ship flies over the apron, yeah. I go, oh, is that a ball? Yeah, it's <laughs> super distracting. Wasn't that thing supposed hey, nice to be shot. friendly? Okay, I think you go. got it. Well, you got one more to do. It's such a wide lane that it's frustrating it, it is, when you can't hit it. <laughs> it just rattles around. Yeah. It may as well be like half the size of the ball the way it gets rejected so many times. You know? Even though it's two balls ah, wide. Come on. It's just their positioning of the pop bumpers. This facility is toast. It just makes a clean shot up the left wall really difficult to get. So clearly I didn't win that mode because it just ended. I timed out on it. Unbelievable. Okay, so again, time mode. Over three years to lead to such so that must be what you have to do. It, it's all just do as much as you can in the time. And that's why it's carrying over ball to ball as yeah. well. Oh. Get up there. Should be able to get a nice trap there. <sighs> oh, jeez. <Good> <laughs> Whoa, well, that... I'm hitting that saucer a lot, except for when it counts. Yeah. You know, when it finally says extra ball, I will not be able to land a ball in there to save my life. No, it'll literally be half the size of the <laughs> ball, impossible to shoot. This should be such an easy backhand. There we go. It is an easy backhand once you got it trapped up. Ah. Oh. Well, folks, you're going to have to play this on your own and find out what happens in the second like, mode. <laughs> what would happen in the second mode? Mm. Play yourself to find out. Stay tuned or watch Jared play this on Twitch. Okay, maybe that's what I'll have to do Yeah. Um, after the show. Because I'm I'm due to go on about 11 o'clock local time here. All right. I bumped it back a bit just in case it went long on the show. But maybe I'll... Take the slot because no one else wants to do it at the time I'm doing it. Right. Okay. So those I mean, are. Uh, that's that. Let's go to. Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Crypt. This thing. Hmm. Crypt of the Necro Dancer. I have thoughts. I've got some thoughts as well. It is. I applaud them for doing something that's non-traditional. Yep. But I scream when I see this right coming up here. All those C's. Yep. What is what? that about? And they've done this on other tables of theirs, where they just, it's like, what is that supposed to stand for? And like if you read the, the Elder Gods. if you like read the rules, oh, is it Elder Gods that does that too? Yeah. Yeah. If you read the rules, you find out that each one of those lanes has a very specific name. Yeah, but where are the names? Right, it doesn't say it anywhere. So, a prime one. I am ready. Hold on, so, uh, so... You can pick where you start any of your zones. Each zone has a different um, task that you're trying to yeah. accomplish. Okay? Um, zone one. So then you launch. And I'm just going to pause this real quick. So this lane right here, the second to the left C, that's known as the base lane. What about that tells you this base? But nothing. Nothing. Not, Not a single thing. Nothing. I was like, is it the instrument that's near it? No, that's a keytar. No. So. That, there's nothing there. Just think of Monster Bash, right? Yeah. Like, even they didn't have the concept of, like, instruments on lanes. But it was. It was clear really what lane clear was. What yeah. Even um, if they had, like, a bass or treble uh, symbol on the playfield. Yeah. There's another kind of aspect to this. That when we get into jackpot, which all this gold will be lit up, if you strike mm. uh, again, I think it's the I think it's this third C, maybe. It's, it's one of these two to the right. It'll go not enough diamonds. I'm like, what are you talking? I don't even know where diamonds are on this table. <laughs> so I can probably explain that because I played it a touch. So that that spinner shot there is where you go to the shop to buy power-ups. Oh. But you need to collect diamond, diamonds to do that. So if you don't have you enough money to buy anything, you're not going to get into the shop. That's right, yeah. Well, you know, it would be really interesting if the insert there said, SHOP! Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Not or some indicator. You know, see. Bob's bunker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, or anything like that. The other really weird thing about this table is it a lot of times wants you to shoot on the beat. Yes. Now, and... <laughs> you'll notice I, I... that it's infinite balls, kind of. Um, sort of. There's that number up there that says, in the uh, DMD, that says 1.0. Um, yeah. I haven't worked out how you build that up. Um, but that's basically telling you... Uh, like so the, your ball ends when the music ends. So it's based on the music, obviously. No, so because I can increase over. that. See, now I'm at 1.1. Yeah, but in the rules. Oh. Because I've read them. I had to. Yeah, I read them too. <laughs> but you'll know that in the rules it says you'll you'll only ball out um, when the music ends and you haven't completed the main objectives of this zone. So uh, if you if your 1.2 figure gets below... 0.5 it goes into the red and then if you drain at that point you'll lose a heart okay so Wh wh which heart are we talking about so top left of the dmd array uh-huh you'll see the little heart meter uh-huh um so those are the, your essentially your balls okay kind of so here's a question um, mm. i've got a whole bunch of hearts right here why don't those matter um because they are well, they do. No, they You've don't match what's on, on the, the DMD, DMD, though. You know what I mean? And well, they there are there's three numbers on the DMD, and that corresponds to the three hearts on the playfield. Um, so it's an indication at all times how many hearts you have. No, because watch what happens when I go to two DMD. hearts. I don't think that's the case. I did the other day. Did it? Yeah. I don't know. When I played it, oops, <laughs> drained it. So if you deliberately drain. So why are there then five hearts? Because you can sort of build them up from what I'm saying. Think of them like extra balls. Okay. So I'm trying to hit flashing lane. It's not a flashing lane. It's a flashing target right now. It's that keyboard on the left. Yep. And how do you hit it? Very difficultly. <laughs> yeah, like a super late shot on the flip one. I haven't been able like to that. go out. And you hit it. But what did it do? Uh, it moved on to the next flashing lane, off. which is to the left. Yeah, right, okay. So I'm trying to shoot all the flashing lanes. Yeah, on the beat. Which is like, I'm sorry. I've got enough to worry about with aiming to try and time my flip to the beat, which took me a while, am I loose doing it the beat to the music? No, there's that part beating in the middle. Yeah. That's the beat. If you look though, the, the heart is beating in time with the arrow pulsing as well. Right. So that, I mean, it's good. But. Because you've got an indication of the beat right down to your flippers. But the only way to do that is by catching the ball every single time. So you're not. You know, doing on, it on, on the fly. And the thing is that. Th this is the thing that frustrates me about the beat mechanic in this game. It is really hard to sink a beat when you've got travel time with a ball. Yeah. And you've got to take that into account when you're trying to shoot a shot. It's like it's almost like lag, and when you're playing a rhythm game, you, the last thing you want is lag. Right. You know what I mean? This isn't going well. So the other thing to bear in mind, which is what you got at the moment, oh, is I'm... the multi balls. Okay. So crypt is the way you start a multi ball, and it's just a rollover lanes. Yeah. So, so right now, now I have to hit that. To trigger that. Now I'm into the actual boss battle. And I have to hit that yeah. lane a bunch so of So he's got so many lives left. Yeah. That was just shown on the DMD. Yeah, project. just on the DMD. Did which again, it? hey, I've got all these hearts in the center. Why not use them? Is that your hearts? I don't care. It's called good information. The crypt is mine. <laughs> now, if you shoot the diamond sinkhole there, you get yes, a diamond. I'll get a diamond. Yeah. Which, that's a good shot, okay? Oh, all right, one Shooting diamond. this thing behind it? Is the surest center drain you've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and actually beat this. Don't, uh, nope. Music timed out. Yep. I lost the battle. Music timed out, you did. 
I see, look, now your hearts have dropped down to two. Okay. Yeah? All right. So... I would rather... For my ball that I'm playing... Those hearts actually mean Zone something. Two. Like, it's a life bar. You know what I mean? A health bar? For the boss. Just in general, right now. Okay? Because... Again, right now I'm at 1. I can increase... See, now I'm at 1.2. So as those are increasing, let my heart increase. So that I don't have to keep on looking at the DMD. But I think the number thing that you're looking at doesn't relate to your health. Yeah, it does. Because I... when I dr if I drain, that number, number will all of a sudden plummet down. Okay. <sighs> So you can build up how many drains you're actually able to have. Right. See, 1.6 now. Right. 1.7. Comboing, I think. Yeah. But see, I drained, now it's down to 1.2. Yeah. So really, it's all about going to shoot all the shots and you'll. Um, number count, which I'm sure people are screaming the actual correct name for it right. in the stream right now. Um, but that thing... Uh, but you understand is... what I'm saying? It would be so much yeah. more information-wise helpful for me to see this displayed in my inserts rather than me having to look up at the DMD. And here's another point. Why not label the things in the DMD? Like, what is 1.2? Right. Like, everything else is labeled. Diamonds is labeled. The bomb thing is labeled. And whatever that... I actually can't see what that symbol is next to the zero. Um, it's a ring. A ring. Okay. So, those things at least have a key to them. But what is the 1.5? It's not a bonus multiplier. It's no. a health indicator. Yeah. So, like, label it. Like, I get that they're trying to make it look like a, a boombox with the speakers in it, but DMDs is meant to be informative. And there's so many speakers pulsing all around the table, you don't really need it on the DMD. What's it want Sorry, me to VFD. Hit? Shoot the flashing lane, flip to the beat. What flashing lane? Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, yeah, on the ramp. Oh, oh, nearly backhanded it. Let's try that again. I wonder, can I backhand it? Oh, I don't know. I want to beat the boss so you guys can see what the mini playfield looks like. It's cool. It's joust. It is. It's so rad. In a lot of ways, does the design of this table reminds me of Battle Royale. I was going to say the same thing. In fact, I think I commented it as such in the stream I did. I said, this table, this should be the Battle Royale table. Mm -hmm. Not the other one, the Funko Pop one. I get, you know, true commercial arrangement. They had to make it a Funko Pop one. But this really translates well to that sort of competitive aspect of um, playing with other opponents. That's over the because, line. there we go, here we go. So all you're trying to do is have it drain out the other guy's drain hole. Yeah. Like that. Hey. Just like that. I want a point. Hey, I want Win. a point. I love how the flippers are flipping the beat. Which I think is really cool. Oh, man. That, <laughs> you got that back at you. If Pinball Wiz is on the stream, which you may be, um, uh, he's a big fan of this game. Yeah. But the actual... Oh, the actual game game. Game game, not the Pinball game. So he'll be able to explain everything about what okay. we're seeing here. So because I finished that room, now I get to go to another zone. So you select your zone. So think of the zones like... Me. Really? Say that again, Jared. Think of the zones like missions. Yeah. 
So instead of having a mission hole to shoot, you've got to do a full completion of each zone, and then you can progress. But one thing I would like, and it's a minor critique, is those things in the middle of the playfield need to be more conspicuous. Is it kind of lost in the art? Well, that, they are conspicuous, so you're saying more defined. Yeah. Yeah. Less conspicuous, I think. There you go. Yeah, that's the words. Words are hard. Yeah, if they stood out a little bit more, that'd be nice. Yeah. Like, the thing I do like is that the ball has a glow <laughs> to it, so you can track that pretty easily. One will do that with the enemies. Nope. <laughs> 1.0. You really gotta, you know, fight a little bit to save that ball when it comes out from the launch. Yeah. It sort of wants to go down. So beat okay. sinking to this stage is a lot harder because it's beating really fast. Back down to one. Oh, shit, so frustrating. Collected multi jack water too. Oh, we got crypt holy ball. That'll help. Oh yeah, that will help actually. Because you're getting jackpots as well as Rips progression is towards the, and that's, that's the end of the multi. Double ended. So you got three diamonds as well. You might want to shoot that shot. No, it's not enough. <laughs> See? Oh, how many diamonds you got again? You have to have a, I believe, at least seven. Seven diamonds. Yeah, you're right. You're not qualifying it. Now, here's the thing. I've only hit that know? sinkhole once. So yeah, I think you get diamonds for completing the boss battles as well. Oh, uh, okay. And if you want to get another diamond now, you can just shoot that that center drain shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Because that's super safe. Super safe and normal. Well, right now it's not bad. Like I said. Yeah, it's just when it gets to the second. It's the second one that's just like stupid. Like this will feed it right back down to the the flipper. See a nice visual clue. Sorry, audio clue. Audio clue, yeah. Ring! Now watch. It's great. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna show how easy it is to drain on this thing. Ah. Well, wrong kind of drain. Death metal. Death, yeah. metal! Death metal time. Which is good because you drained. Ah. Gee, you're really good at nailing those side shots. I have trouble with those. I'm not trying to. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just been quiet. Yes. Yes, yes I, I am. Yes, I am. I've got that dialed in, no problem. Um, ah. Oh. And that's the, a frustrating thing, right? When the ball rattles around between the flippers, because you're not expecting it to drain. Yeah. And then it gives you, like, it says, no, you've drained the ball. It's like, oh, I didn't do anything. That's all right. You just need to, it's part of the learning process of the game. You just need to, like, when the ball's looking like it's drained, just don't touch the flippers. Woo! Whoa, okay. That was a hard that, shot. That actually bounced. Well, no, it, it, on... it's that is considered a drain. Oh, is it? Yeah, it basically bounces between, and then it launches it back up into play. Okay, so it's a very quick launch. Yes. See? And that launched it back. Oh, right, okay. Yep, and again. Yeah, you... And I'm draining hard every time. Here you are. But the more skeletons I bop, maybe. Ooh, I got him. Oh, I gotta do that got two him. more times. He's down to two hearts. Nope, 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 oh. nope. Danger. Oh, five. That was. And his name was. And it's dead. <laughs> That's death. Yeah. So I mean, there's interesting aspects to the table. Um, and it's, it, again, I plot it for being something different. Yeah. But there's design elements that drive me bonkers. Yep. Mainly they could being make that, it really apparent. Yeah. But what you need to do? All, just all those C's <laughs> and the little tiny guys to hit. Um, just. Rah. 
All right, let's exit out of this. Let's go into the um, the highlight of the packs. <laughs> yes. Bing. La, 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 la. Oop, there, there it is. Draw his own. He's he's in. First things first. I'm happy to announce. Yes, we have the proper tension. You unlock the screen. door with the key yes, of imagination. Please apply that same tension to the right. Side. Holy crap! Why is this table so loud? Uh, Hold on. I don't know. That will like. <laughs> wow! You have to drop down everything. I'm gonna just drop down everything because that's like redonkulously loud. Yeah. Sorry for anyone using headphones. <laughs> that was like that even surprised me. Like whoa. Yeah, that's 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 much better. Better. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is what I have to do in the stream as well. Like, not just the master volume. I've got to admit, the sound implementation is very good. Yeah, very, very good. Um, so obviously I'm playing in uh, enhanced visuals mode, which I will yes. say are very tastefully uh, done. Oh, incredibly tastefully done. Like, I was expecting it to be, like, mod central in here, right? All the different things. I love that effect. The oh, door the door opening is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There are, unfortunately, at the time of recording, some ball management bugs on oh, this really? table. Yeah. So the... I encountered it in my stream last night. And thankfully, I was still able to get first. But... The balls were just like stacking up in the shooter lane. Oh! Just lost the plot completely. <laughs> Good shot. Oh, what? That should have qualified. Yeah, that's one of the areas that's got a problem. The, that locking mechanism is too shallow. Where the ball sits, it, it, you can actually knock balls out if you kill. If you give it a really good nudge, and I'll say that that is way too fast Ooh. coming out of the um, the shooter lane. Okay. It's, so that's not typical of a, a game on location. Uh, does it usually? Use the wrong oh, I see what you're saying. They've used the wrong core value on that one. So I mean, it's the, all the bugs that. I've seen a well reported okay. um, by the community. Like, the Zen is wholeheartedly aware of them. This is an amazing effect. How good does that power field effect look? Yeah, I love it. Um, here's what it looks like without all the enhancements. The funny thing is that without the enhancements, they still got the gumballs um, mod in there. Yeah, it's just colored gumballs. I noticed that the, the clock is a single color. I'm used to it being um, like four quadrant color. True. That looks a prototype clock. Uh, this is what the prototype clock looks like. Again. Super nerdy pinball talk. But this table feels good. Oh, does it ever? Yeah, no, it feels You know, good. I actually let it slip in the stream. I actually said the F word, <laughs> Farsight. Because <laughs> I was. Because I remember this table so vividly in, in the pinball arcade. Right. And it slipped out. So. Um, whoops. I'm going to stop this one because. We're really running along. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can just, you know, play this. Um, <laughs> play it. It's great. It's, it's worth It's a bucks. solid purchase. Um, just buy it. But just real quickly, I want to show Fishtails. Fishtails, yeah. Because um, somehow it's even nastier than it used to be. Oh, it's brutal. <laughs> it's... Like, I had this thing dialed in before. <laughs> and it's just mean so... now. You might have noticed the eject up the top there at the um, 
What was it called? Lie. Uh, I'm trying to read the label, I can't quite get it. Uh, the video mode. Yeah, the object, video top mode. object source mode. It's really weak. Yeah. Also kick out around the eye. In L I E. So there's a fair chance to bounce either way rather than always dropping into the E. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it makes it very easy to get bonus multipliers up there. I'll also say the extra ball target is really difficult to hit. Oh. Yep. <laughs> I'll attest to that. <laughs> like, I almost just go, screw it, maybe I'll hit it during multi ball. <laughs> yeah. Wilbur's made a joke when I was on stream. It's like, so you've hit literally every single thing in the playfield except for the extra ball target. Yeah. Because I've been trying. I was even trying to line up the shot and everything. I could not get it to save myself. Nice. And like, I used to have that shot dialed in. Like, you could get it on the long cast. Oh, yeah. You know, a live, a live shot. And now, I'm just like... It's really hard. Ugh. Same with that as well. The turnaround is very satisfying, but so dangerous. Hell yeah, it is. Mm. Um, oh, something I was going to mention with Twilight Zone. Yeah. I was worried at first because it seemed like every game that I was playing, the second ball was a um, ceramic ball. Power ball. Yeah. Once I actually had a game with the power ball and I locked it into the gumball machine, the very next game I played, I did not get the ceramic ball in ball one, two, or three as a launch ball. Correct. So I'm almost tempted to say that maybe there was some kind of a ROM status carryover. Maybe. Or they might have you know, tagged the power ball as a unique element and managed its state individually outside the ROM yeah. state. Yeah. Um, the anyway, thing that's interesting about the ceramic ball, I don't really feel any difference in weight. It's, it's the Do slipperiness you, of it. You reckon it's the slipperiness? Yes. They've adjusted the friction. It, 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 it feels like the glass ball um, that we were dealing with. Uh, in FX3, that was a, a, a common complaint of. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, that's what it more feels like to me. So it's me. not the weight, it's a friction. Yes. That they've adjusted. Yes. They've really got the texture right. It looks amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they said that they Beautiful spent a lot of time cool. working on the physics of it. Mm. Uh, trying to make it play how it should play. So I'm kind of trusting that that's the case. Yeah. Um, but I do think that it was just a matter of they, they played with the friction um, to make it a little bit bouncier and, and a little bit slicker of how it's gliding across uh, and yep. saying that that's the weight as opposed to an actual physical weight of the ball. Yeah. But all in all, um, it's like, nothing like having five tables, brand new tables dumped on you all at once. <laughs> mm. And having... Uh, the second Marvel pack dump, which we didn't, uh, we didn't even, well, we don't have it yet. Um, no. <laughs> but, uh, a lot of tables just like, Pah! so here you go. That's pretty cool. Um, it is. I said, well, I'm curious to see how long it takes to get that, uh, email for the founders form, uh, to get your mm. entitlements there. Uh, I don't understand quite what's going on with steam. But there was somehow, with them being able to read what you already owned in FX3, uh, and then being able to purchase all those tables for 50% off in... Um, in FX. In FX. Yeah, in pin FX. So, I know that's going... That's clever. I know that's going on uh, somehow. So, mm. uh, Which, apparently, that pissed off PlayStation players. <laughs> well, you can't win... No, you can't win. We've already determined that. You, there's absolutely nothing you can do that's uh, going to make everybody happy all the time. Um, no. It'll be... I, I look forward to a year from now when people are done griping about the price the of price things. Model. And they can just concentrate on uh, the quality of the game. So, mm -hmm. 
yeah, I just hope that Zen has a way of re-onboarding people into the review flow so they can adjust their reviews. Yeah. Because that, unfortunately, that stink stays with the game mm -hmm. um, forever. Sure does. Because people generally don't update their reviews after they've given them, unless they're really dedicated fans. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed that little uh, trip through the five tables. Um, uh, really wanted to highlight the new, uh, the the new new, because <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's why Twilight Zone. A lot of you have already uh, uh, been there, done that with Farsight. So just wanted to show it a little bit. Um, and to be honest, there's a lot of videos of Twilight Zone being played out there. Uh, oh yeah. Or you can just, you know, again. Go to our Twitch stream. It's uh, blockade underscore pinball. That's our Twitch channel. Uh, you can find yeah. that there. And Jared's uh, starting to post videos. And we'll go ahead and post videos, uh, or Jared's going to post those videos over to YouTube. Also, if you don't feel like logging into Twitch, instead uh, watch it after it's been recorded. But if you want to watch those live streams, um, I imagine, Jared, are you announcing it when you go on to Twitter that you're playing? or uh, um, I'm trying to remember. Okay. Um, I'm also using so when we upload to youtube the integration in our discord channel broadcasts the fact that there's a new video so uh, if you're in the blockade discord you'll see that happen when we when i post new things at the moment though just be aware i'm exclusively doing streaming only through obs to the stream uh, to the steam page yeah so it's not through twitch at the moment but, um, and that's not going to last long. In. Yeah, because I mean, right now, no, it's, no, just it'll... A, it's just a period where Zen was looking for some uh, users uh, to throw up content. Some content creators out there yeah. to sort of make the page look sort of fresh. Yeah. So, and everyone's doing a great job. Uh, all the all the other content creators, uh, their streams are amazing. Yeah. So, uh, great work, everyone. All right. Well, all that being said, uh, that's it for this time around. We'll be back around for uh, more things next time. Always dealing with Jared's favorite subjects. Stuff and things. Till then, folks. We'll see you around. Bye-bye. See ya.